You do or don't? How about you, Fred? Does it look right? But, but, but not even knowing any math, does it just seem right? Just, I mean, because I can guarantee you, if, if you work for me, and I told you that I gave you this problem, this was your money that you were getting paid, if you never stepped foot in this class, you'd have this thing figured out, right? <laughs> right, seriously, if, for example, I said, you know what? I'm going to give you a 10% raise. You would say, oh, man, I, I don't know fractions. I don't know percents, man. I can't figure this out, right? You know to a penny how much you were going to get. How would you figure that out? Those are the same mental skills you got to use here, right? If, if you're in the store, right, Monica, you, you know, you see a nice pair of shoes on sale, and it says 30% off, I guarantee you can't be cheated. But if I put it on a piece of paper and say math on top, and say, what's 30% of $16.95? Then all of a sudden, oh, the block goes up. Well, I, don't, I don't know percents. I've never seen that before. What are you talking about? But if you were in the middle of the Nike outlet or something, 30% off, I guarantee you, you would figure it out. Those same kind of mental skills we got to use here. So if $3.15, right, is five and a quarter percent of 60, I'm just, I'm not saying this is wrong. I'm just saying, is that possible? <laughs> is it possible? Okay. I'm just saying, is it possible? Because he, cause if, if we're able to think through how this is possible, this other stuff will make more sense. You'll, you'll chop these down quicker. Let's go back to my 10% rule, right? 60. What's 10% of, of 60? 6. Half of 6 is 3. That's pretty possible. Right? So the answer is right. That's what I'm not asking that. I'm trying to get us to think about how these numbers all make sense and how in our daily lives we use this stuff all the time. We just have another way to figure this stuff out that's not academic, okay? But you know this stuff. You know percents. You use it all the time, right? If PG&E says, oh, yeah, you're going to save 12% on your power bill this month, I guarantee you, you'd figure out what that 12% was. And if your bill was wrong, you'd be right on the phone to PG&E saying, hey, what's going on? You said you were giving me 12%. But if I showed that to you on this piece of paper that says math on top, <laughs> then all of a sudden it's a mystery. <laughs>